Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be part three of my makeup inventory. I have a skincare inventory and parts one and two of my makeup inventory already uploaded on my channel. So if you haven't caught them yet, you can always check those out if you were wondering what my skincare, foundation, highlighters, and bronzers look like. This video today is going to be mostly about blush, and I have a lot of blush, a lot, a lot, a lot. I divide them up into different categories, um, cream blush, loose blush, singles, palettes, I also divide them by warm and cool and shimmer and matte because that's how many I have. I also will have at the very end after I do just blush, my face palette inventory. And those are palettes that have two or more different categories in them. So blush and bronzer, highlight and bronzer, blush and highlight. Anything that was like a mixed category will go at the end. So basically it is going to be all blush all day. I used to love blush very, very much. I have since kind of curbed my blush addiction quite a bit, but it also takes a long time to use up a blush. So the numbers haven't really gone down much, but I have a lot of blush. I really appreciate your support and comments on all of these videos. I am going to take a little break after I finish this inventory and catch up on comments because right now all of my spare time is organizing, filming, and editing these videos. I do not have a single minute to do anything else, but I am seeing your comments as they're coming in. I'm sorry I'm not responding to them quite yet. I'm going to get to them eventually, but this is just such a time suck for me. So um, I do hope you guys are enjoying yourselves as you're watching these videos and I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, time to open up drawer number three of my Ikea Alex drawers. It is all blush all day long. I have a massive, massive blush hoard. Calling it what it is, people. All right, one, two, three, get ready. It's not opening because it's stuck. No office organizers will save me here because if I were to try to organize this with little dividers and stack them up nice and neat, they wouldn't fit anymore. This is the only way this all fits in here if I shove it all in there. So that's where all of my single blushes are. And as you can see, I have like some liquid or like cream blushes. Uh, but I also have powder blushes, but they're all singles. Everything in here is a single. And then I've never shown you this little beauty. That is a little plastic three drawers. And it used to hold like outerwear, like hats and scarves and stuff, but I had to commandeer it for makeup purposes. So now that bottom drawer is blush palettes and like mixed combination like face palettes. The middle drawer holds the highlighting palettes I just showed in the last video. And then up here, I have more face palettes that are combination palettes. And that's not all. I also have several Z palettes or magnetic palettes that are full of depotted blushes. So all will be revealed, but that is where I store all of my blush. Okay, we are kicking off my blush inventory with all of the blushes I have depotted or I have bought without compacts. I currently have 52, which is a lot. And I had 53 last year, so I actually ended up giving one to my mother. Funny story, 
my mother sent me a photo of a really old L'Oreal blush that I could immediately tell had been discontinued and was no longer available. And she said, for my birthday, I'd like this blush again, but I can't find it when I go to the store. And I had to call her and be like, well, mom, that's because that blush was discontinued like 10 years ago. And um, I said, before we go on a hunt to buy you a new blush, why don't we look through what I have and see if we can find one that you like. She's like 76 years old and she's very particular about what blush she uses. She, she doesn't want something with a lot of shimmer. She doesn't want something too pink. She doesn't want something too orange. She knows exactly what she wants. And so I have been bringing her over like five blushes at a time for her to try on and go through. And then she gives a couple back to me. And she finally found one that she really loved. And it was one of my depotted blushes. So I ended up taking what was left of her L'Oreal blush that she loved so much because it was only like the bits around the edges that was left and dumping out the empty pan of blush that I had, mixing them together and repressing them into her L'Oreal into her L'Oreal compact. And I think she's been very happy. I have to check in with her about that. But I think she was happy with the results. And so, yes, I am down one blush. I personally did not use any of these up, but I was happy to give one to my mother. These four palettes right here were basically what kept me from buying the Urban Decay Back Talk palette. Um, when I realized that that palette was basically a combination of every blush that I already owned, I was able to stop myself right then and there and tell myself that I could just use my blushes if I wanted a pink eyeshadow look. So yeah, we're at 52 right now. I currently have these two in my Pan That Palette for 2019. So these are the two I'm working on. None of these, none of the other ones are currently in projects. And yes, I'm at 52. I'm down one from last year. This guy's sitting here because he's broken and I haven't fixed him yet. So I need to repress him at some point, but that's why he's sitting there on top. He's not going back in my palettes yet. Okay, here are my loose blushes. I currently have 15. For some reason, there were only 14 in my last year's inventory pictures, but I know for a fact I did not buy or receive any new ones. The one that was not in my picture from last year is this Bare Minerals shade in Avant Garde. Uh, I'm sorry, Avant Garden. And I'm pretty sure this was a hand-me-down from my friend Jamie. And I don't know why it wasn't in my photo from last year because she did a major declutter like last December. And so that's when all this stuff came in. So it should have been in my inventory pictures. It's not. We're moving on. I did not buy any new ones, but my numbers still went up. That's the story of my life. This Clinique jar is an old um, moisturizer, and prior to me discovering how to repress powder products that were shattered, I used to dump them in here. So I have a gigantic jar of shattered powders. Uh, I have repressed this into some pans, but there's still a lot more, and I just hang on to it because I'm a makeup hoarder. These NYX grindables were so cool. Smashbox came out with this concept first, and then NYX duped it. And I just thought this was the coolest thing ever, so I picked up two of them. Oh, I think I'm holding it upside down. Yes, I am. But basically what you do is you push this down and twist, and a little bit of product, like, is shaved off from underneath. I don't know why I thought that was the coolest idea. But yeah, I have two of those. And then the rest are just traditional loose blushes. This is from a brand called Royale. Um, and the rest are all different shades of Bare Minerals. I currently have these four in my How Many Years Experiment project. And I used one of them today. I think it was this one. I used the tiniest amount ever. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, if that isn't a sign of how this is going to go, I don't know what is. I mean, really, such a little amount goes such a long way. But that's where I'm at for January 2019. I have 15. Okay, here is my cream blush inventory. I currently have 48. Last year I had 49, so I finished one. I had no more come in. So we are just down one in this category, which I'm very happy about because I finally figured out that cream products don't last forever. So I am currently working on this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Peach Satin. I started working on this on January 1st. Prior to that, I was working on this Becca one for about six months. I love this one. Blush is one of those things that I, ha I will tend to buy multiples of. So if something goes on sale, I will buy one of every color. At least I used to do that. I'm trying not to do that anymore, but historically I have done that so like when these Maybelline dream bouncy blushes went on sale for like 40% off I bought them all I bought every shade <laughs> oh, yeah. I think the same thing with the Stila convertible colors oh the Skirpura one is so pretty um the oldest one out of all of these is without a doubt this L'Oreal one touch of color. I was panning this in 2016. I made really good progress on it and then I put it down and I just have never picked it back up but I'd love to finish this. Um, another really old one is this Almay 3-in-1 color stick. You saw a champagne one of these in my stick highlighter inventory and this is more of a pink one that I would use as a cream blush. This Prescriptives one is super old too. It's in the shade Woman. Just a nice pink. There is a swatch of Woman right there. Nice pink. I'll show you my black cream blush. This is from Lipstick Queen and it's in Black Lace Rabbit. And it is a black cream blush that will turn kind of a plummy shade when you kind of rub it out on your skin. This Too Faced one smells amazing, a lot like the highlighter. This is the shade Peach Dream, and it's really light. Super fair. Um, this is a Mascara Beauty blush in the shade Desert, Desert Sunset. This Tarte one is probably more like a highlighter, but it's so dark that I have put it in my blush category. And it's got a whole fluid ounce of this liquid, like illuminator. And then it's got a little stick on this end of a cream blush. I mean, it's just a ton of product. A ton. I would love to work with all of these. It's hard to focus on just one at a time, but I am trying to do that as much as possible so that I can make good progress. But I have so many blushes. This Revlon one is really bright. It's like a fluorescent pink, <laughs> like a hot pink. This Too Faced one is super pigmented. It's in Sweet Pea. Super pigmented. All of these could be used on your cheeks and your lips, but I kind of consider them to be just cheek products because, well, I have a million lip products too. So these are my cream blush products and I'm at 48. All right. I lovingly refer to this category as my matte blushes. So all of these blushes are totally matte, no shimmer, no sparkle, no nothing. If I want a matte blush, these are the ones I go to. There are 45 
in all. One of these e.l.f. blushes was not in this category last year. I had it in a different category, but I moved them all in here together. So that's one more blush. And I actually, believe it or not, bought a blush in 2018. Kind of surprised by myself. But this Balm Beach blush was like three bucks at Kohl's and I couldn't help myself, so I picked that up. And the reason I'm still at the same number, because I was at 45 last year and I'm at 45 this year, is because two of my matte blushes are out on loan at my mother's house. And she basically has unlimited time to see if she wants to keep them or not. If she likes them, she can keep them indefinitely. They'll be hers. And if she decides she doesn't like them, she'll give them back to me. She knows there's no rush because... I'm not going to be looking for blush anytime soon. Um, so yeah, two blushes are with her. So if those two blushes are to come back, I will actually be at 47 blushes, but I'm not sure what she's going to do with them or not. She's had them for a couple months now and she hasn't decided one way or the other. And I told her, like I said, I told her there was no rush. So as of right now, this is my current inventory, but those if those two come back, it'll go up higher. I do love a matte blush. I have a lot of them. Um, these are all from the Balm. These are the in-stain ones. These are highly pigmented, and they will last all day long. <clears throat> these two are from Dose of Colors. I got them half off at Ulta last year. I obviously love Tarte. And I bought all of these 50% off. Again, just kind of stocked up when I had the chance. Uh, this is a cargo blush in Catalina. And it's just a really pretty pale pink. This came in an Ipsy bag. It's from City Color. It is a gorgeous peachy pink color. This Laura Geller blush is stunning. I bought it off of, I think, QVC or HSN last year or the year before. It's got like a chandelier embossing on it. This Jane blush had the most adorable flower print on it, but it's shattered and I had to repress it, so it looks like that now. This is a very warm, neutral blush from Alme. This Milani blush is delish, delis, delicioso pink. I cannot say that to save my life. Delicioso pink. It's just a really gorgeous matte pink blush. Open. Oh, stunning. Whoa. This Stila one, I've only worn like once ever, but I absolutely loved it. I think I picked that up for $5 somewhere, some website. This one from Hakari also came in an Ipsy bag. It's a pretty color. This one is from Japanesque. I think I got this half off at Ulta. It's the Velvet Touch Blush in 01. Um, this is the Tarte Party. This MAC one is Painted Canyon. This Clinique one is Honey Bear. What else do you guys want to see? Have you seen it all? This is an old Cover Girls one. This is a classic color in natural glow. Somebody dug their finger in there. That's so light, it's almost a highlighter. Hmm. This e.l.f. one is Mellow Mauve. That's gorgeous. I wonder if I've ever used that even once. I don't know. 
So these are my matte blushes. I have 45 as to, of today, but if my mom gives me the other two back, I'll be at 47. Eek. Okay, guys, my little assistant is busy Mommy. swatching. Did you see you? Yeah, I thought like makeup is like a mirror. Yeah, it's like a mirror. Yeah, it's like makeup. It's getting hard to do this inventory. Yeah. Hazel, Hazel is busy. Anyways, this category is Red. all shimmery Red. blushes that are pink or cool toned. That makes sense, right? So all of these are pink or cool toned, shimmery blushes. This category hasn't changed at all. I had 18 last year, I have 18 today. I didn't work on any of these last year. None of these are in projects right now. So it is the same until Hazel gets a hold of something and breaks it or just swatches it to death. Um, this is another cargo. This is Sunset Beach. Can I show them? This is Physician's Formula Nude Wear. That's the one that Hazel just grabbed is one that I bought at Kohl's several years ago from the brand American Beauty. I need help. You need help? I need help. This is a Smashbox one, one of the soft lights. I'm kind of considering this like a blush topper. This is Kardashian Beauty in the shade. I don't know. Maybe just a glow. I'm not sure. It's Kardashian Beauty. Here are two of my Too Faced Flush Blush Sweethearts. This one is something about berry, and this one is Candy Glow. This is the only full-size Too Faced Love Flush Blush, and this is Justify My Love. I need help. You need help? This is a Physician's Formula Blush. I absolutely love this blush. It's in natural. I, uh, I love this blush so much. This is from Hard Candy. I picked it up at Walmart. Glow all the way. It's like half highlighter, half blush. You could swirl it together. These two are both cover girls. This one is Refined Rose, and that one is a plum one, purely plum. Oh, hey, is it still closed? We're not going to be able to get that one open. I have another one from the Balm that's Cabana Boy. I also have a sample of Cabana Boy that Hazel's holding that I got from an Ipsy bag. This one I picked up at TJ Maxx. It's Max Studio. Real cool tone. This Milani one is Dulce Pink. This came in an Ipsy bag. It's from Be a Bombshell and it's Sweet Cheeks. It's just called Sweet Cheeks. And... This is Maybelline Master Highlight in Pink Rose. Okay, this is massive. This is the largest picture of blush yet. These are all of my shimmery, warm toned, neutral peach. orangey blushes. So everything here is warm toned, shimmery, neutral. And I have 59. I have two on loan out at my mom's house. She's trying them out. And so I really truly actually have 61, but until she decides whether or not she wants to keep those or not, they're at her house. So you see 59 here. If you compare this photo to my inventory from last year, there's a couple that are in different spots. Like they were in different categories last year and they moved into this category or they were in this category last year and they moved out. But basically 
the same blushes are here that I had last year. I haven't bought any new ones and I haven't used any up. Um, let's see, what would you like to see out of all of this? I have two more of the Sweethearts Flesh Blush. This one is in Peach Beach. I absolutely love this blush. This one is in Sparkling Bellini. I have two Shimmer Bricks from Bobbi Brown. I bought both of these off of Glambot. Buying these completely turned me off of buying from Glambot and I will show you why. The way they require you to sterilize the powders, I just think ruins it personally. And I never bought from Glambot again. But this one is Lilac Rose. And it looks like that. See how it's like, I don't know, it just looks so beat up. I don't know. Wow, that's really light. It's almost like a highlighter. And then this one is called Bronze. That one looks a little bit better and it feels a little bit better, but I don't know. Seeing how these powders look after they've been sterilized is just a major turnoff. I have this Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. I have this Tarte one. I absolutely love this Tarte blush. It looks so, I don't know. It just looks like the most beautiful natural glow on my skin. I have Betty Luminizer from The Balm. It's is a highlighter for deep skin tones, but I kind of use it more like a blush. Here, this number seven one is, I'm a, I think you'll see I'm a big sucker for any of these kind of like gradient blushes. I love that. I don't know why, but I always buy them. This is that other flower one from Jane. I showed you the one that had been repressed, but that's what it originally looked like. I was so disappointed that it was broken when it arrived, but this one is still intact. This Corez one is really pretty. Uh, this Too Faced one is the Pink Leopard. I absolutely love blush. I'm really proud of myself for um, calming it down a little bit over the last couple years since project tanning because obviously I went through a long phase of buying whatever I wanted. So it's been a real shift to try and take a step back and stop buying. That one was from Anna Sui. This one's from Shiseido. So yeah, oh, kitty, stop bumping it. Here are all of my warm toned, shimmery, neutral blushes. There are 59 in all, but two are out at my mom's house. So really it's 61. Okay, here are my blush palettes. This has been the same blush palettes I've had for three years in a row. The numbers haven't gone up, the numbers haven't gone down. It's just stayed at six. I've talked about this before. The idea of working on an entire palette of blush is quite intimidating to me considering I haven't been able to finish a single blush within one year, so I kind of ignore these, which is crazy, but I do. So let me show you what they are. This is the Becca Blushed with Light palette. And it has these three, Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. This is the Elf Blush palette in light. Crack my nails. Right there. This is the Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Palette. This is the Sugar and Spice Palette from Makeup Revolution. I suppose these are technically more highlighters than blushes, but I'm calling this a blush palette. 
This is from the Balm. It's called How About Them Apples. These are all cream blushes. And then this is the Too Faced Love Flush blush palette. Okay guys, this is the last flat lay for this part of my makeup inventory. These are all palettes that have a combination of either highlight, blush, or bronzer. Not necessarily all three, but at least two out of the three. There are no eyeshadows in any of these palettes. Later on, I will be showing you guys some palettes that have eyeshadow and face products in them. So this isn't actually everything. There's still more, believe it or not. But this is kind of where I end the face products before we get into eyeshadow. So let's go through this really quickly. By the way, this number has only gone up by one and it was a gift with purchase. This little Ulta Beauty Duo is the only addition. It was a gift with purchase. I did not buy any new ones. I did not use any up. I was absolutely hoping to have this out of my stash by this time. Um, this was my Pan That Palette for 2017. Yes, 2017. The Too Faced Natural Face Palette was my Pan That Palette. And all that I have left is this bronze veil and this blush. And I was just going to depot those two, put them in a magnetic palette, and um, toss this packaging. But unfortunately, I don't have any room in my magnetic palettes. So this is hanging around for a little bit longer. But I will be depotting these as soon as I finish a few things and clear up some space in my magnetic palettes. All right. This Ofra palette is probably one of my most expensive makeup products, believe it or not. I believe this retails for $150. I bought it with Ulta points, so I got it for free, but it's expensive. It was definitely an impulse buy, and it's gorgeous, but it's like so fancy that I haven't used it yet. It's too fancy to use, because sometimes I think silly things like that. I can't use it. It's too fancy. This is an older Sephora palette. I really love this palette. It has a combination of cream and powder products. These three are cream. The rest are powder. I like it very much, but I haven't used it in a while. I've told the embarrassing story of my makeup hoarding and buying two of these real cheeky party palettes. So I'm not gonna shame myself again, but yes, I have two of the Cheeky Party palettes. Both look pretty much brand new. That one's still in the box. I have a Mally Trio. I have the Becca Afterglow palette. I had to repress a couple of the shades that broke, sadly. I have the Tardist Pro Glow Palette. I would really, really like to dig into that cream bronzer soon. Oh, I love the way tar Tarte palettes smell. They smell so good. Mm. Um, this Stila Trio came from a holiday set a few years ago. I have the Sweet Peach Glow Palette. This Sephora Blush 101 Face Palette is huge, and I really, really, really like this palette. The quality of all of these different products are excellent, and I wish I could use it more. This is an e.l.f. Total Face Palette. This is the Narcissist palette. This one's called Dual Intensity Cheek Palette. I have two of the Too Faced
Soulmate palettes. This one is called Ross and Rachel. And this one is, I think, Carrie and Big. Yeah. I have an old Almay duo. This is, I think this is the second Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. It's either the first one or the second one, I'm not sure. I have gotten some good use out of this powder right here. That one is dim lit, I believe, the yellowy one. I think that's dim lit, right guys? Um, makes a great under eye setting powder. I wish I had more use out of the rest of these. I would love to justify buying another Hourglass palette, but obviously I can't justify that right now. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's the Rose Blush Duo. This is a cream blush and bronzer from e.l.f. in St. Lucia. Here's an, the original like e.l.f. contour palette. I would love to put this in a project. I used this quite a bit one summer and I have like some pretty respectable dips going on in some of these powders. So I would love to put it in a project. This is the Bare Minerals Duo. It's got a matte powder and a highlight powder. This is the Ulta Beauty freebie that I just showed you guys that I got as a gift with purchase. This is the original Becca and Jaclyn Hill. No, I guess this is the original Becca and Jaclyn Hill. This was the second Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette. I've never used it even once. It is brand new. I have a Wet n Wild Trio in Sunset Junction. This is the Too Faced No Filter Selfie Powders. I wanted this so bad, but I've really never used it. I've heard several sources say the best way to use this is to just mix all three powders together and use it as like a finishing powder on your face. So I might try that one day. This is a Too Faced Duo with uh, Chocolate Soleil, and this one is Pinch My Petals. I've had this forever. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And finally, I have my Too Faced Natural Face palette that I would love to depot and move that packaging out ASAP. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.